I do peep, so we were going to go to the at the train for today, but it's closed as you can see behind me. There's loads of armed police and whatever. I think what's going on today is um, there's a parade for the uh, for the Paralympics, a clothing parade, I think it is. So it's just there behind us there, you can just see it. So we're gonna have a milk, see if we can find something else to do, somewhere else to go. It is Paris, city of culture, city of everything, so. I'll do peep, so we've managed to navigate ourselves successfully again on the underground to the Louvre. So we're gonna have a look. So this is the Louvre, not the Louvre, the Louvre. But there's loads of art and stuff and it's absolutely jassive. It's, uh, it's big. This place is uh, stunning. comparable au milieu des humains. Elle se tourne vers les édifices vermelles, s'illumine les fenêtres ouvragées, m'illumine les nuits sans, sans sommeil. En retour, je ne lui voudrais pas de haine. Pas quelle l'enfortune toujours au moment des adieux se montre le globe rond. Aux hommes, affliction ou choix, départ ou retrouvailles, à la lune, voile, we just come through this park and then we've seen the uh, these gardens and then in the distance
How do peeps and welcome to day two of our adventures in Paris. Yay! Yeah. So yesterday all this area was all cordoned off. You couldn't get up here for love and money. And we had to take a massive five mile day with detour just to get back to the hotel. So today I'm sponsored by Ray-Ban Glasses and new Japanese Fred Perry. Woohoo! Three buttons. Nice! I also sponsored by Indiana Galileo with a hat and a nice dress carrying a jasket. So we're going to make our way up to the uh, Art de Triomphe, the big roundabout that was featured in John Wick 4 when he had that massive uh, fight that lasted about an hour, shooting each other's jackets and not getting killed. And loads of car crashes and the police didn't come neither. So that's film as well, the clown shows. Anyhow, so we're nearly there now. So and then we're going to have a mooch down to the Eiffel Tower and just take in the rest of Paris. Hello doggy. Hello. I've just made a friend. How do peeps? So we've made it as far as we can get to the Arc de Triomphe uh, because there's still barriers in place and the police are there. So there it is just behind me. There you go. This is like I said, this is as far as you can get to it. There's the sun in the sky. I'm glad I've got my shades on. Like they're just dismantling the, what's left of the uh, the Olympics in the party we had last night. I'll do pictures as you can see behind me. There is the Eiffel Tower, just resting on my fingertip. There, look. Uh, so we're nearly there. For some reason, it's taken a bit longer to get in than on my run. I found it back this morning on my run, it just, just happened upon it. So off we go, nearly there. So behind me is just the River Seine. Look at that, it's a bit camp, isn't it? There's a River Seine there, just behind me. You do your river cruises and whatever else from here. And there's a, there's a mosque just, just over there. There, there, there. There it is. Yeah, so here we are, we're at the foot of the Eiffel Tower here. It's still got its uh, Olympic rings on. You can see there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go across to where I was this morning and then uh, our lass, Indiana Galilea, wants to go take some photos over there. That's where I was this morning, over there. So we've got to go across this bridge on the right and then uh, we're going to come back to the Eiffel Tower and we're going to get charged the fortune and go up it probably. Let's just go up to the top. Right to the top. Where are we going? Right to the top. Right to the top. Top, top, top. top. Well, here we have the Olympic rings and my Olympic champion, our lass. So behind us is the Eiffel Tower again. Oh my God, that sun's bright. You know, it's glory. It's quite busy down here today. It's nice and warm too. So we're going up there. That's where we were. Well, that's where, where I was earlier this morning on my run when I accidentally found it. And so we're just crossing this bridge. And then we're going to go back across the bridge. It's looking quite busy up there actually, there's quite a few people up there. That looks a bit. And they're still uh, taking down what's left from the uh, from the Olympics and the Paralympics. Alright, that'll do for now peeps. Au revoir from me and au revoir from our lass. Au revoir. So we're back at the, uh, the viewing platform, there's loads and loads of people here now. The sun's nice and high in the sky and it's roasting. Absolutely heaving. How oh. do peeps? So we're now on the grounds of the Eiffel Tower. 
So you have to go through a security, um, like an airport style security check, just to make sure you've got no beer or knives or guns or anything on you. So we're at the foot of the uh, Eiffel Tower. I'll just turn it around for you. We are at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. There's a bit some water. There's like a little river there underneath it, and it goes. So let's go and experience the Eiffel Tower. Let's get to the top. I wanted to walk up on stairs, but I lasted no. So, how are we getting up to the top, Galea? I ain't going to walk up the bread is there. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the uh, the base of the Eiffel Tower. Right underneath it. Let's go up it. See you in a minute. So we've joined the queue for the uh, for the tower. Get your tickets over there, and then you snake all the way through. It's a bit like airport style queuing. Then you go through security again, and you got the lift to the top floor, hopefully. What do you think about that? Yeah, first floor. It's a good job it's open all day. That bloody queue is massive. Oh, you know. I know, it's dinner time. Yeah. No, I keep back. There's my big smiley face. I'm cooking in the sun. It's roasting today, right? And there's our lads. Hello. So we've got tickets now for the Eiffel Tower. We're going to the top floor, the summit. Just got to go through security. So we've been queuing for about an hour. And by the time we've got through it, it should be around about another hour. So, two hours queuing. So we've uh, made it to the second summit now we're going to the, to the top. So summit, from yeah. one queue to another. <laughs> so this is the queues and there's the views. So we've made it to the top. We've paid, uh, paid about 70 odd euros to get to the top and you can't see nothing. Too many, very, very busy today.
Sprijetimo su bolnom, ja sam trajala od vidima. Ya dur, gel be. Anne görüyorum. Aa. So this is the upper lower level. So we've been on the uh, the, the top level, the summit, and now this is the next view platform. And then you've got the. Uh, Oh, and there's our last. So I'm scared of heights. <laughs> and I just found the uh, this glass skywalk up the version post. Long way down. <laughs> Hello, darling. So, how do peeps? After our little day out at the Eiffel Tower, it's been a long day out at the Eiffel Tower. So, be prepared if you're going to visit the Eiffel Tower. I'll say the Eiffel Tower how many times I need to say it. Be prepared if you're going to visit it, then it's going to be a long day. It's near enough took us a full day, so it's going to be like a, a proper event. That's down to the that's down to the queues and your queue to get your tickets. Then your queue when you actually. Uh, get to lift and then you queue to go on another lift and queue to go on another lift and it is very popular so it's very 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 busy but it's worth it it's a good experience so if you do go don't miss it out right the pricing the pricing for us to go to the top floor to the summit was 35 euros and 35 euros and, and 30 30 cents <laughs> 30 cent, yeah whatever, whatever it is so it is quite expensive for adults I think kids are half price and there's a like I said there's an elevator that takes you to the second floor then you get off at the second floor and then you take the elevator to the top floor and same for going back down and then there's a cafe on the first on the first floor so it is worth it like it is worth it so definitely definitely go if you get the opportunity otherwise you'd leave uh, Paris feeling a bit like you missed out on something. Right, I'm running out of battery and I'm running out of things to say. So I cut it short there. Thank you for watching. I hope you've liked and enjoyed this um this whatever it is, this vlog <laughs> with our last. Right, take care, we'll see you in the next one. Ta peeps.